Well, let's calculate some uh, elasticity of demand problems using the midpoint formula. So what I've got here is a little table, makes it a little easier for me. I've got a price of 80, and when the price is at 80, the quantity demanded is 120. When the price goes up to 120 for this product, the quantity demanded drops down to 40. Okay, so price goes up, quantity demanded goes down. Um, the formula for elasticity is right here. So it's the change in quantity as a percent over the change in price as a percent. Uh, the way to get the percent change formula is right here. So we go old minus new over the midpoint. Uh, we multiply that by 100. This gives us the percent. The way to get the midpoint, value 1 plus value 2 divided by uh, 2, okay, or really half of the total. Either way, this will give you the midpoint. So first, let's calculate the midpoints. So the quantity midpoint, I like to do that one first because that's what goes on the, the numerator. So it's 120 plus 40 is 160. So the midpoint of that is 80. 80 plus 120 is 200. Half of that is 100. So then the um, percent change we're going to do over here. So it's uh, we'll we'll start out. It doesn't really matter which direction you go now. Um, but we'll go 120 minus 40 over 80. Okay. Um, so we've got 80 over 80, and then that's 1 uh, times 100 is 100 percent, which is a, expressed as a percent, just 4 out of 10, so it's uh, 40 percent. Okay, so 40 percent. Okay, and then um, really what I'm doing here now is a is 100 percent. Let's plug it into this one. 100 percent over 40 percent those cancel out so it's really 10 out of 4 so two and a half is the first elasticity here so two and a half is more than uh, one so that's pretty elastic uh, demand there price elasticity okay let's do two more so uh, quantity midpoint price midpoint this one a little faster here. And percent, oops, change, what quantity demanded, percent change, price, and then what is the elasticity? So uh, in this one, the uh, quantity midpoint is 20, and the price midpoint is 8. So this one, 25 minus 15 over 20 uh, is 10 over 20 so this is one half so this is 50 percent okay I'm skipping some skipping some steps but you know if you I guess I can go back and do this times a hundred and that gives you that answer uh, change in price so for this one it's 6 minus 10 over 8 so it's 4 over 8, which is also 50%. So 50%. This one's really easy. So it's 50% over 50%. This gives us an elasticity of 1. And so that's unitary elastic, which that, what, what that means is that for every 1% price change, it's going to be 1% quantity change. Okay, so not that it doesn't matter what you, what you do with your price, but you just be aware of that. Okay, and then finally this last one, uh, I got price of one going to five, and quantity two hundred going down to one hundred. So the quantity midpoint, the price midpoint. Okay, so halfway between there is one fifty. Write a little clearer for you, and then uh, pri price midpoint is three. So percent change of quantity demanded, percent change price. Okay, so I go 200 minus 100 over 150, and I've got 100 over 150, which is the same when we're saying two thirds. So this is 66.7%. And then the price change is five 
minus 1 over 3, so we got 4 over 3. So it's like saying 1 and uh, 1 and 1 third. So it's like 1 133.3 percent or so. Um, and so I'm going to do this in fractions just so I don't have to get out a calculator here. So I got um, two thirds on the denominator uh, over one and one third. So this was uh, four thirds. And I got, I can just multiply both sides by three. These guys will cancel out. I get two over four, which is the same as saying 0.5. And so this one is inelastic because this